The AFL acknowledges the Yugen Bear Language Group, the traditional owners of the land we gather on today, and pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. We acknowledge we play our great game on this land and respect the cultures of the First Peoples, their contribution to our nation and contribution to the game of Australian rules football. We now, we now introduce traditional owner Luther Cora and the Yugen Bear Language Group for the Welcome to Country. Yugambe language group. In our language for welcome, we say Jingari. This song and dance is to welcome you here to this country. Jingari wala wala Yugambe dagan. Nanya mala. Nanya bayabi. Ah, Jingari wala wala Yugambe dagan. 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 Jingari, welcome. Would you now please join the coaches, players, and umpires for the Australian national anthem? of the Richmond players and their coach, Damien Hardwick. Jonathan Brown, they look mm. mean tonight. Yeah, not too many smiles there, Derm, is there? No there, jokes. There was no jokes. Certainly coming out the tunnel last week, there was a... Uh... Not frivolity, but uh, there's a few smiles on the face. No smiles tonight, so they're ready to go. They know it's a cutthroat final. It's going to be huge. How's the nerves, Doom? Just coming out of the national anthem before a final. No better feeling, is there? It's fantastic. Yeah. It's, an, it's the unknown, Sarah, and it, I don't know about anyone else, but when you're in the unknown, it's just wonderful because anything can happen and you get a chance to shape it. All right, let's drill down on some of the matchups. Dustin Martin, do we think Seb Ross will go to him in the middle? Oh, absolutely, yeah. That worked well for them in round four, Derm. Uh, when he goes forward, Heads probably Wilkie. Uh, so we'll just see what the, what the balance is there. But if Thank Dusty you. lights up like he did last week, keep him in the middle, Sarah. I was a bit like you, a bit bewildered why they moved him forward. I don't know if they think he can run, mm. you know, 80% in the middle anymore. Perhaps if they give him real good bench time, but that takes away from his forward time. Derm, you love him. Max King, he was brilliant airily last week. It'd be a big job to back it up again, but the young boy has talent. Well, he, he turned the corner. He came good very, uh, very well again. Thing is, Bolt is the best size matchup. Then what you've got to do with Max King is take away his ability to jump at the footy, and that requires a body player. I don't know if Bolt is smart enough to to do that yet and not give away free kicks. So there's a risk there. Now, Derm, we think Marshall's going to have to ruck most of the night. Yep. Can, can King do the ruck work in the forward 50 against Nan Curvis if Marsh plays back? From boundary line throw-ins, yes. From stoppages, I would not like to have him pushing side on to, uh, to, to big Nan Curvis. Some final words there from Jaron Geary. He was sensational last week, showed great leadership. And that man who may be the future skipper, the man of steel, Jonathan yeah. Brown, first time All-Australian this year. Tonight is his for the taking. Absolutely. So Geary might play on Vloston or Hooley. Uh, played on Caleb Daniel last week. 
week, Jack Steele. How good's he been, Derm? He's taken himself from a role player to an All-Australian. He's not Dusty Martin, but he's probably the best ball winner on the ground. Right now, in this form, he's probably the best at winning it. That man, Dustin Martin, on screen. All eyes, of course, on him. We know he really is the best player, Brownie. The stats back it up of the last decade in these big finals. Absolutely. So let's see where he plays tonight. That man, Dan Butler, is going to be one to watch. He was fantastic in round four against his old club. Looks as if Marsh has gone forward for St Kilda, so he's obviously going to ruck uh, and help out with Rowan Marshall. He's big Maxi King. Not sure what the match-up will be. Pickett will play all night in the wing. I don't think they liked his game as a rollback defender last week, Dean. So a few deep breaths before the first bounce at Metricon Stadium. The reigning Premier's up against St Kilda. This is going to be a... Final here. It's semi-final time. Dusty, Rioli, Pickett to Cochin and then Cochin off a step, high ball forward, leaps front and marks on Howard. Mark's here, Dougal, just back a metre, please. Jack. Just far too yeah. easy out yeah. of the yeah. middle Another for the one. Tigers and, and the kick That's wasn't good. great, but what it, it was to his advantage. Line, and as you can see it in the size, I mean, Mark's Howard right here. Well, has been a great recruit gone. this year. Just not as big Very as Lynch, is he? Much stronger upper body. So he's missed the last couple with a hammy. Huge out last week against the Lions. Can he nail the first one? It's a good kick. Well, it's the dream start for the Golden Boy. Well, it's always going to be a big in for the Tigers. Tom Lynch back into this side. And a big question mark about whether... Howard would be up to it against Lynch. I think if it comes in as quickly as that all night, Duck, he'll have a big job on his hands. Need to get pressure on that ball, the Saints, so that it slows down and they can get numbers back. Hodgie? Yes, Daisy, uh, it's a big job for Howard. Just got some matchups with uh, him going straight to Lynch. Not the best start for him, but look, uh, also Rewalt is with Wilkie. Uh, up the other end, we've got uh, Bolter going to King. So the question was going to be if Dusty started in the middle or up forward, he started in the guts, and they're putting the pressure on him right from the start. Perfect start for the Tigers. They spit it back looking for Jones. Graham walks high tackle, through. And... Richmond. Up over the shoulder. High tackle. High tackle. Free. Just love pounding the ball forward. McIntosh long in from the side, unable to hang on. Caulfield, they spit the handball into a dangerous spot. And the Saints drive it out of there. Broad back in the team for Richmond. Prestia sees something he likes, kicks it to a very dangerous spot. And Hunter Clark takes a very good mark. Taken in the same draft as Caulfield alongside one another. They've played a lot alongside one another this year. So Howard, shaky start, but he can recover. And that one not good either, so that won't calm the nerves. You can see their intent, though, to get it moving quickly straight away with the handball from Hunter Clark to Patton. Vlost and eyes, darting, good kick to Cochin, to Hurley on the right side for him. Missed the target. He wanted to go bang to Nick Hoffield, but he looked and had to put the skid marks on. Nice ball. Finds Steele. And that's a good ball to Geary. Negative forward roll, but he can also hit the scoreboard. Sits a high one up. They love getting it to this spot. King so dangerous in the air. They bring it to the front. Marshall. Cochin gets back to help his defence. Bounces a wide one for Lynch. Quick release for Martin. Downfield. Advantage. And a free kick goes the Tigers' way. Revolt pumps it inside 50 to Rioli. They look nice and sharp early, the Tigers. I think the concerning thing for the Saints at the moment is the lack of pressure when they've won the ball, the Tigers through the middle of the ground from the Saints. So they've missed the targets a couple of times, not that time. And having a look at that there. Not right sure that that was 50. This is for a very, very good start for Richmond. Rioli absolutely drifting. They <laughs> mightn't have quite got there anyway, so they're able to bring it away, the Saints, but it might be coming back in. Patton built it back. Early chance for Marsh. Just a little stop. He didn't have anyone really up forward. Lonely round that body, building the ball in, and got it. 
get a stoppage here and they will. Yeah, the Rioli kick looked home off the boot. Not sure if there's much of a breeze there. Might check with Abby in a second, just on those conditions, but did drift away to the right. So stoppage, forward 50. Good look here, maybe, for the Saints. Membry, no rider, of course. Geary, good. Ross on the wrong side. Good kick, though, right to the front of the square. March had a look. King doesn't quite. He was going to go that first kick and then had to hold it up. And it's a bone. Abby, what are the conditions like? Yeah, it's been a pristine day down in the Gold Coast, Bruce. A slight breeze to that right of, of screen, so you are correct there. Long way down the ground for Lynch. Loves the one-on-one -on -one contest, Dusty. That one just slipped through his hands. Hunter Clark, lots of composure and class. Battle back in the side. I'm here, yours. Hold now, hold! Thanks, Jack. Pat. Move it on, play on! Hold, Shane. Just far enough. Play on! Play on, play on! I'll have to work it through this half-back situation, St Kilda, and then get in front of the centre circles and go really quick. Billings, good last week. Short ball to memory. Okay. That's what's ahead of him. Just got to pound it long. Through came Loney, did well. Geary thumped. Out of play. Floston trying to drag a free. Contributed to it. Ball in. End to end sort of game so far. Just the one tackle laid. We're about six minutes in. St Kilda looking corridor every time they get the opportunity out of their D50. Nick Curvis, Marsh. Baker down low. Marsh again, so he's had his hands on it a bit early. Cut off by Short. Good kick. Castagna goes wide. Bolter. What a season he's had. That's a corridor kick to a one-on-one. -on -one. Played it well, Wilkie, and then did very well to try and get Lambert down. Real first clean one for Dusty. How good he was last week early. Kicks the ball back towards Bolton. Huge fly. Edwards rolls it home. They've got the second. And there's Dusty getting the ball again and going long inside forward 50. They've been dangerous doing that so far tonight. The two guys that they've missed a bit of footy this year, Edwards and Lynch with the, the first two. But with the build-up with St Kilda, they were able to do it last week. Build it up nice and slow and pick their way through the Bulldogs. The only thing against Richmond, if you move the ball so slow, they're that well as a defensive team that they can transition all the way back. And if they get the ball or it's a slow turnover, they can transition as they did just then. So St Kilda need to be smart with the ball movement. Go fast if they can, but they can't be too slow because it just lets Richmond work all the way back and set up. Asprey goes into the middle against Marshall. Jones taken high. Tackle. St Kilda. Hold, Jack. Jack, hold. Play on. Need one just to settle here, the Saints. Long and high. Memory at the front couldn't hang on. The Tigers thump their way back inside defensive 50. Now they'll stream down the ground. Lambert. Long ball. Good pickup. Gets to Hanabry. Marshall out wide. Two metres, two metres. Play on, play on. Call to go, so he's just going to have to see what the marking players have got. King just out of position. Well done by Baker. Little fumble from Lambert. Floston taken in a pretty good tackle. They'll get a forward 50 stoppage. And you can see in that situation where the Saints and, and Butler, who's very good at front and square, as Bruce mentioned before, the front and square players, but he, he almost was past the contest. You've got to tread water. Make sure you don't go past the contest. Give yourself an opportunity. King gets over the top of Asprey. Bolter, Hanabry keeps the ball into a, a dangerous spot. The big fly was grind. She Baker twisted, turned the back turn was good. Cochin on the last line. 
to board. Back in that team, the dual premiership player. Good hands. The Tigers have looked so fluent, haven't they, coming off the back half. Bolton's kicked to a one-on-one. -on -one. Wilkie plays that one-on-one -on -one so well. The stats that we, this week were just absolutely so Ball flattering. Up. Straight and up. And he's able to get a stoppage. Well done. Just looking a bit harder and fiercer at the moment, aren't they, Richmond? Whenever there's a contested ball there to be won, the thing that catches your eye are Richmond jumpers flying in to win it. Every Richmond player has touched the footy already. They just look on. Martin. Off a step. Wobbles a barrel forward. The Saints get in each other's way. Castagna. High ball. Howard's got to be very careful. And he takes it out. He took it out. Straight over the line. I know, but then you deviated off your line. Over it. Straight to him. Good decision from the umpire. Tom. Tom. Couldn't be any more Tom deliberate. Mark so Mark this would be a big, big start for Tommy Lynch. If he can bend this through. Back into the side. So important as we know. Runs around. And it thumps into the woodwork. Gee, you'd like to take a heart rate of Dougal Howard right now, wouldn't you? It might have come down a moment just there. So he just needs to settle here. This duck settles. Absolutely the right call. He's kicked one out of bounds on the four. He's had a goal kicked against him. He's had that one just there. Good mark, man, Curvis. King was third man up. Couldn't influence the contest. Thank you. Hold there. Grimes short. Thank you, Jack. Speaking of him, he kicks a ball long to fall forward. Good stuff, Howard there at the back. Revolt patted it forward. Clark harassed by Castagna. Lovely hands, Caulfield. Heard the call, Savage. Hannibred milked it a bit before he got it, but he played it well, Hannibred. He started OK. Lovely sidestep by Marshall. Kicked down the line. Ashbury read it pretty well. Contest was good, though, by memory. Back to King. Handball a bit sloppy. Back from memory. Back to King. Left foot. Slow, high. Took too long. Hooley. Here they go again. Lambert's going to pound it back inside 50, but only as far as Josh Battle. Now they can wheel and go. This is what they do best, the Saints. Good user Billings. Play on. Loney. Kent. But they can't quickly release from here. Retreating ball to Savage and Caulfield is emerging. Howard. They'll go inside now. What have they got in the air? Lots of Tiger defenders. Short to bend it around the body. Jones taken in a pretty good Castagna tackle. Sharp the Tigers. Run down tackle really good. Hodgie to you. Yeah, Daisy, you were spot on before, just with the pressure. Richmond and Brisbane last Friday night was relentless. And then on Saturday night, Saturday afternoon, Doggies, uh, St Kilda could pick their way through the Bulldogs. Uh, they're, Richmond have picked up that intensity tonight. Marsh to full forward. Ned Curvis. Oh! Out of the air by King. Good thinking. Is the tackle that was Jared, rewarded. Jared, Good chase by Marsh. It's been Thank lively you. enough early. I think you said it, JB. They need a goal. They just need that that old settler as Vlossen short to Hooley. Been missing during parts of this season, Basher Hooley. So important to what Richmond do. High and wide. Savage almost. Clark, good decision maker. Back to Savage. Lowers the eyes. Mark. Butler had enough of it. Take it back. Turn turn Mouthguard into Sunday. the sock, so he likes what he sees. Hold there, Nick. Play Savage on. lurking from long range. From long range! Shane Savage! Nick. Play on. 
Well, it's a massive kick and a massive, massive for his confidence. Hasn't been in the team, and that's huge. And to me, Dave, it looked like he'd mistimed it a little bit. He sat it up, and it just looked like it carried that extra 10, 15 metres. Abs did say the wind was drifting that, that way. So, massive goal. Battle just able to get it off, Edwards. Kicked the second goal of the match. So, Nakatoshi. All on his own, Lambert was able to get forward on Savage here. So Lambert goes to the pocket, doesn't get it above Savage. So he's had a couple of good moments here, Savage. Pulled back to Graham. Well played by Battle. He'll first disposal for him. So he's been very quiet early. Ross back to Hill, the three-time Premiership player. Jones, he's played in the grand final. Back it goes. And that ball out of play. So... They've steadied a bit, haven't they? Inside 50s have evened up. Toby Rowan, thank you. Back here. Scoring shots the same. Interesting battle, but just the two possessions. Hill, sorry, just the two possessions. They love getting the footy into his hands. You can see him bottom of the screen there. Dustin Martin. Courage needed. They got it too, but at the back, Shea Bolton. Twisting and turning. Gets good connection. If it bounces the right way, it's going through. If you have a look at there, Tom Lynch attack on the footy. Great courage from Pat. Stood under it, knew Lynch was coming. And that's what you do as a big forward. You've got to, you've got to hit that pack hard. Really nice finish. And it's so okay. Pat's all right. But that is real courage. And that's also what you expect from your big forward. Abby, down to you. Yeah, it was great courage, Duck, but when Ben Patton's standing there and Tom Lynch comes at you, it's going to be a heavy contest, and he's come from the ground with blood pouring from his head, so no doubt they'll patch him up and get him back out there as soon as they can. Marshall wins that one. Still haven't caught his name much so far. Martin, Topo to forward to Bolton, to McIntosh. Lovely kick. Gives Lynch every chance. Howard won that battle. Savage goes to ground. Rioli oh, over you. the top. To Toby, you're so going up. Okay. Job here. St Kilda Ruckman. Oh. Cut open. Wilkie chasing. Gets it off Howard. And hooks it wide. Kent in the front spot. Did well there, Kent. And Broad sort of pushed him into it. He... Couldn't let the ball get over the back. Does he keep the ball in? No. It's out. So coming back from Asprey. Just looking at Ben Patton there, that's Duck. It, yeah. And Dave, that's how you earn respect from your 21 mates. Hold Jack, hold. He knew, didn't he? You, you know it's coming in that situation. Short to Hooley. Richmond, the territory game they love to play, Nan Curvis. Broken up in the air. Bolton kicked that brilliant goal just a moment ago. He's now kicked another one. Shea Bolton. Well, Shea Bolton with his second consecutive goal. There's a lot of indecision in the air for St Kilda in defence at the moment. It, there's an emphasis on wanting to fly in and, and help your teammate, but in doing so, there's... Lots of St Kilda defenders going up in the air and it's leaving dangerous Richmond forwards at ground level. A number of their goals have come that way. Thought he'd kick one of the goals of the season last week, didn't we? And with the review, and now he's kicked a couple in the opening term. Great start by the Tigers. So back Marshall to get over the top again, and he does. But Sickley missed it, and Martin, another set of clearance. And again, they go forward to Lynch. Now Curvis resting forward. She hard hit on Hanabry there. And then McIntosh. Oh, look at he's got another one. They've kicked five in the opening turn. They can't miss. Well, that's where it starts. Right there in the middle of the ground. Hanabry, a lot of experience. So he's talk in this situation, really important. Still, he's had a great year. Really important that they don't lose their voice now and try to pinch a goal before quarter time. Some of those numbers, Wayne Steele three, Hanbury yeah. three, Hill two,
Jones won. Uh, they're the engine room that have got to start finding it. If they don't pinch a goal, just to send a bounce clearance will do. Marshall should have an advantage. Hold in, Shane Edwards. Richmond. Good kick for Richmond. Back to him now. What a magnificent footballer Edwards has been for the Tigers. The ball has been living in this part of the ground. Revolt just tucked it to his own advantage and then Caulfield did pretty well. Battle. High. And a defensive fist. So many of those ground ball crumbing goals and it's going in that quickly from centre bounce. You can do all the work in the air. Defenders do their job to, to halve it, bring it to ground. Too much space for those dangerous smalls to operate in. It's been a blitz from this very, very good Richmond team. Marshall, not sure if he actually got a hand to it. Steal now. Back to Marshall. Tough one for the forwards to handle. Marshall almost did. Broad played it really well. Pulley, as he so often does, the overlap run, and his ball use is really good. Got it to Baker. Marlon Pickett out wide. Lots of room for him to move. To Rioli. Savage just a double fist. Now he goes and finds it at ground level. Good pick up from Graham Edwards. Handball a little too hot for Cochin, but room for him to go and get it. And he's run down brilliantly by Butler. Same killed up. So unlike Cochin, he had a couple of options. He just took his time about it next. Premiership teammate got him, so Steele. Can they manufacture a late goal here? Make a big difference to them. Steele goes a bit lower than they're going. Terrible kick. And Broad just cut it off. So their forward 50 entries have been scarce in the last few minutes, but they've been a problem. Their one goal came from well outside 50. And the handball from Butler to Savage. Hurley's been terrific. That bounce and flare off half back. So important in those grand final wins. That's a telling mark by Marshall. He's been busy enough early, but they're pushing up a big hill. Savage has had a bit of it. Kick the only Saints goal. Sinclair. The dare to go quickly. Almost Loney. Prestia's hands nice and sharp. Floston, the forward handball, Hawley. Richmond. William. The ball's coming back. Out. Out behind. For Fire Baker. Me, me. So inside the last 30 seconds, it has been a very impressive start, this, for the Tigers. Pick a little one to Hawley. Asprey. Marsh to put some pressure on. Good little give, Butler to Hill. He's had a quiet opening. Here's a long kick. It's a very poor handball to Jones. Goes back to Hill. Needs to make a decision. The hoping, hoping, hoping. Mark, no. Oh, Geary dropped it. King, Butler, little left footer. He's got it, I think. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's goal. I didn't hear it before the kick. No, I didn't hear it. Did you hear anything? What's the go? Go, go. It's a go. It's there, Bruce. The umpire's talking about the fact that they didn't hear it. And that's all that matters. The umpire has got to hear the siren. Because the rule is when we first hear it. Yeah. Um, which I think was just, just after he kicked it. Yeah, it was. So good explanation for Dylan Grimes. Necessary goal for St Kilda. Late in that term. And as we go to the break... 17 point lead Richmond. Music a massive part of what we do on Friday Night Football and rest in peace the great Eddie Van Halen. For Van Halen fans everywhere this is for you. As he explained very clearly it's only when he hears it. Not when it's actually pressed us. Now we're underway, second term. Jones thumps a handball forward. Cochin. Now the Tigers off half-back through short. 
down the line, JB, almost a 50, battle cuts across and marks. So what does that goal mean? You... Ruffy talking to Hodgie then a whole lot, and that's, I think, what we're all thinking, that just what they needed before quarter time, in the nick of time. And for the captain, well, I think he's pretty happy they got one after the last 30 seconds of that quarter. High ball by Geary. Good mark in the front. King has been very impressive. I mean, was he that got the handball out to Butler a moment ago on quarter time? High ball forward. Memory made a good contest. She Butler was in a good spot. Just had a fumble with Billings there as well. But they get a stoppage. And maybe the first chance of the second turn. Toby. Tim. Jones. A little slick for Billings. He might drag a free out of this. Like contact. Your kick, Jack. Two captains. Yeah. Bashing Jack, you're free. Other. You've got the free. That's it. I've got this one here. Jack, you're high. No, I didn't say that. Oh, Clear out. You didn't see it this morning. Hey. So I'm back on. Mark's here. They've got a bit of sorting out to do. Not happy with the treatment received by Zach Jones. 15 gone. At the end of it all, Jack Billings has a shot on goal from long range. To make it two in a row and get the Saints right back into it. It looks a little right off the boot, and it is. So here's the hit on Jones from Cochin. So the Tigers, back to the wow. wing, Lynch the big fly, back to Geary. So he started the match forward 50. That's a good kick. Back five metres. Play on. Memory. Good kick. Marshall. So they get it into that corridor that talked about earlier. This is a good build-up. That's the best build-up we've seen from the Saints. Now Sinclair got the trip. Savage has. We know that. Can lightning strike twice? Not with that one. Ball still in play. Still in play. Kent King had a little fairy kick at him and Boulder coughs it up. Jonathan. Well done, King. Your Good kick, pressure. Jonathan. Jonathan's kick. Mark's here. Your kick. Hendon. So there's a bit going on. Just here. Just here. Jonathan, around. Thank you. Mark's here. You're so he's right been an it. emergency nine times this season, Marsh. Played Cole five Kenton. games. Played a fair bit early. Played in that game in round four. Coming back, but didn't get it to come back quick enough. But a late curve. It was it 15-3 the last time these two sides Cole played? King. The Saints. Yep. They kicked everything. Bring it in. Play on. A couple of misses already tonight. Long ball in, it gets through the hands of Shea Bolton. Edwards at the back, absorb the tackle. Tigers, Shane Edwards, you've got him around the net. Time back on. Edwards wants to go fast. It's not a great ball. Baker just had to put the fist to it. Now that's very ordinary entry. Picked off by Geary, given to Billings. Starting to get some uncontested footy here, the Saints, which is a rare thing against Richmond. Billings just pushed as he kicked it. Memory did well. Hold there, Nick. Some control coming into this St Kilda game. It's this next kick. So really good ball movement from that point. But this one here has just been a little bit slow. Young King held out of it. Forward 50 stoppage. And Geary involved again. Bruce mentioned he's gone back in this quarter. That'd be for a bit of leadership to settle things down there where they've been under such pressure and also a bit of grunt, a good 1v1 player, given that they're doing a lot of defending. Got another stoppage forward 50. Marsh, Nankervis, Cochin, Baker on the left, close to the line. He kept it in his good kick. The Coffield, lovely mark. He's had a fine season. G's come back a long, long way, hasn't he? To change all the angles, Wilkie to Savage. Does he go short to Howard? He does. Had a nervy start, Howard, but settling. Daniel, Daniel. 
good kick, Wilkie. Membry a long way from home. That looks so good. It looks so good, didn't it? Well, that's a much better kick, obviously, but it's been their control, uncontested marks in this quarter. Is it 15 zip? So really starting to get into their game now, the Saints. But that kick there, the most important kick in footy, just to lower their eyes. Set play material almost, it looks like. As, as soon as Membry rolled, he knew King would be coming. 18 goals, 11 from set shots this year. That one's not going to hold the line. So, JB mentioned they've missed a few tonight. 15-3, the last time they played. How good does he look? Max King coming up at the footy club. She's they're going to enjoy that, Saints fans. For the next decade or more. Beautiful mover. Great skill. Good when the ball's on the ground too. High and wide go the Tigers. And this is what they do. They just surge forward. And it couldn't keep it in. Okay, Rowan. Had some pretty good key forwards and killed her over the journey, Duck. Yeah. Including maybe the greatest ever full forward. Right on. Likely to be watching somewhere the great Plugger Lockett. Loves his Saints. Even though he was also star at the Swans. Martin's handball just to Marshall. Flossed in a little fumble from him, opening the door. Rare handling fumble from Foster. Then he went to ground. Baker able to pick it up. Just got a little ragged, the Tigers. They have JP. So the little hand Hold off to Dusty. It's the first time you mentioned control a couple of minutes ago. The Saints have had a little bit of field control. They've been able to use the ball well. But it's that forward 50 entry, that, that last one that's... Holding them up. Ross, not a good kick. Just didn't get oh, enough on it. Oh, Jack! Baker lively again tonight. So he's going to get to 10 disposals before any other Richmond player tonight. Ross is on 11. Castagna building the ball in. Now, Howard. He was out over right already. Needs to do a bit of acting work, I reckon, Howard. <laughs> on early form, getting it over the line. He, he almost turned a non-free kick into a free kick there. Justin Rowan. So the Tigers forward. Martin and Marshall. Wilkie did enough. Marshall's been good. Still, can he build a big match? They'll need him. Vlosten to bring it back in. Evaded the tackle from Sinclair. Presti a little bit up and under. Bolton's been oh so good again tonight. Lovely looking kick, but chance for Rioli. Dangerous position for Rioli. Can't quite get what he wants. Marshall on the up, gets it to Ross. Ross just has to bash it out and hope someone can hang on. Locks and killed her. Little tunnel there for Go through. the Saints. And... Back here. Mark's here. The you, Hodgie, in a second on the conditions. Final. Looks like some players are starting to lose their feet a bit, which often happens in this part of the world Play during on. a night game. Play on! Kent. Penetrating ball, but oh, Pickett might want that back again. Hodgie, the conditions. Yeah, as Abby said earlier, it's a little bit windy going to the, to the right of screen, but it is starting to get a little bit slippery. So as far as Dewey and all that's not too bad, but it's a little bit slippery underfoot. So as you can sort of see, a few of the players are starting to slip over. Marshall having a, a big turn. Hanabry from Steele. Ross, well played, Pickett, but he coughed it up straight away to Steele. High on Marshall. St Kilda high. He's playing some sort of a game, isn't he, the young gun? Gets to Jones. Jones with a probing ball. Bolton nearly. King claiming it. Play on. Doesn't release it. Just had a moment where he froze it. King. They had a chance and now they're out. Well played. Lynch. Good touch from him now. He just has to wait for the troops to get back. Go short. So Edwards, and again short, and Hooley within, within, well, I was going to say within striking range. On the ball. Thank you. Well, 
puts to Bullock, the Saints, Loney. Butler runs for him. Now Billings runs for him. Doesn't use him. Instead, he goes looking for Marsh. Gets closed down by Cochin. Well done, Marsh. Kent, that's holding the ball. On the ball. Richmond. Go through. Go through. They've done duck the first thing they had to do the Saints and that stopped the Tigers offensively now they've got it the scoreboard themselves both sides pressure's gone up right decision I thought by the umpire certainly wasn't 15 metres and normally give the benefit of the doubt to Hurley but not on that occasion Floston is that going to stay inside the field to play just McIntosh good mark kicked a goal in the opening term quickly plays on Revolt, we haven't seen him a lot in many of the contests. Little toe poke by Hannabury. Bad luck, mate. He just, just had to get it out of Rioli. But it went straight to the boundary. Play on. Had to get it out of Rioli's clutches, didn't he? So he kicks to the top of the square. Bolton flew early. Lynch never really got a crack. And Howard. Good mark. Always tells you a lot about how a team's going, how they extricate themselves from these positions. There you go, good pressure from the Tigers. Just too slow, too high. Days. Have a look at Liam Baker on the Telstra Chaka. 29.5 kilometres per hour, he's top speed in the 12 disposals. It seems like he's been everywhere at the fall of the ball in just about every defensive contest and then getting to the outside to be used on the way out. Well, and a half minutes played in this second term. No goal as yet. Can Edwards do something about that? Brilliant. Well, they won't be happy about this, the Saints. But once again, built off the back of pressure and then class. So this man who's missed a bit of footy this year, that's a nice finish from Edwards. Might get away with a forward handball against another side, but not against the Tigers. That one from Marshall. Bolton so aware. Able to get it down to his mate. So a couple of goals to both of those players. And Richmond get back that strong lead on the scoreboard. Marshall's been outstanding despite that one a moment ago. Hannabury had a miss. Edwards. Back to Hanabry, can't quite get it out, and then Curvis in hard. Back this way. So seven scoring shots apiece. Tony, Rowan. Thanks, Dan. Inside Thank 50s, you. 20 the Tigers, 16 the Saints. Don't hold. But they've needed more inside Cut 50s one. all year than the Saints, the Tigers. Had more, but scored less. Play on, Martin. Clark. Ball set up well, but he made it talk. That kick forward, Bolter read it best, didn't really attack it. Grimes good, Hawley under a bit of pressure. Bolter's such a good athlete, he wants the line. On the ball, incorrect disposal, just let it go. Two out ten metres. I don't think he were. Jack! Oh, there, Mark's here. Well, we can still jag one from here. Bolter would be thinking, well, I was over the line when it slipped out. Can he jag it? He does! And the Saints get a very important goal. Well, if St Kilda are going to claw their way back into this game and be any chance, they're going to need more of this forward pressure to make sure that ball stays at their end of the ground. Jack Steele with the big tackle there. That's St Kilda's eighth so far in this game. Eighth forward 50 tackle, sorry, in this quarter. They were able to get one on in the entire game last week, so they need more of that, the Saints. Hanging in, just 14 points adrift. Geary, Hanabry, nicely done to Marshall. Hooley came forward to defend, and that's throw. incorrect disposal. Throw with the other hand. Back here, Dustin Martin. Basha Hooley, Basha Hooley. Clear it out. Yeah, thank you. Play end on. Up with Dusty anyway. Floats one inside, 50. At the back, Revolt sits the handball up and Rioli does.
doesn't miss. Another look at the, the throw that the umpire called a throw. It was the right decision. And then Dusty Martin, just to get, didn't hit this ball right, but it just had that extra distance that allowed the ball to go over the top. As you can see, it's a floater. And then the Saints, I mean, you've just got to make contact with that footy. They're not allowed that. Chaos ball, and Jack Revolt read it better than anyone, didn't he? He was onto it early. So they've been able to get quick replies. And then Curvis won it. Martin had a couple of centre clearances in the opening turn, four in total. Hannah Bree, strong tackle from Pickett. He's been good in that area all year. G. Jones, good to Clark. Okay. Tried to get on the left side, and then Curvis, terrific. Hooley got it from Pickett. Searching handball. Edwards over the top. Well done, Rioli. Back to Dusty, back to Rioli. And then an underground and a bit of a worm burner. Well played, Edwards going forward. Howard had to stand up, he did. Hannah Bree, Clark kept his call. Not a great kick. Picked off by Grimes. McIntosh, high ball back in. Lynch, well placed. Good stuff. Howard from the side. Stoppage. Abby. Yeah, guys, we're just chasing a visual on Josh Battle. He's been off the ground now for close to 12 minutes. So we're not entirely sure what the issue is there. And I'll chase an update and come back to you soon. Stoppage goal from this very spot. A couple of minutes ago. For the Tigers, Howard. Kent parked under a defensive fist and... It'll be thrown in again. It's a very uh, it's a similar story to the first quarter here. St Kilda build the ball up quite nicely in the early parts of this quarter. They're able to pierce their way through the Richmond defence. But then once again, once the pressure comes on, Richmond lift their intensity and St Kilda has just struggled to keep with them. And Curvis clean possession. Watching. Lambert. Hooley bouncing off half back. A good player to have the ball in his hand. Stuck it down the throat of Lynch. Such a good user, Hurley. One of the few times Lynch has been able to get out on the lead. Generally, it's been him smashing the pack, just bringing the ball to you ground. But whenever Hurley gets it, I reckon his eyes would light up, Lynch. Kick the first of the night. To make it three goals to one in this second term. Snuck it in! Well, you see Richmond from stoppage here. A handball to Hooley, who had read it well. Left his opponent to run off and get involved in the offence. And as you said, Wayne, your eyes would light up any time Hooley was running into kick inside 50 without pressure. Tom Lynch on the lead, and the kick was perfect. And that lack of pressure really indicated by the fact that Hooley was really on the wrong side when he took the ball, but he still had time to kick on his natural left foot and deliver like he did. So, so accurate here. Eight goals won. Nankervis pressed here, so really dangerous situation. Now for the Saints, Martin banging and Bolton read it best. <laughs> Duck Martin's done that a couple of times. He's just banged it in a couple of times, hasn't he tonight? Yeah, he really doesn't care how it gets in there. He just wants to get it in there fast, quick and long. I think he'd be aware too that 1v1 or 6v6, this St Kilda back line can be vulnerable. They do rely on getting numbers back. So get it in as quick as you can. Let your forwards go to work. Kicked a couple of goals in the opening term. Had such a good match, never going to miss. And away they go now, the Tigers. And as you see the work that Dusty puts in at the stoppage, he, uh, he worked him under, he pushed Dilly out of the road just to be in that nice sweeping position for an easy handball. And then with his kick inside 450, as you said, the Richmond Fords don't care if it's a lace out kick, they just want a, a, a kick inside just to make a contest. And Bolton read it perfectly landed on his chest and went back and kicked another goal. He's been a really developing player from this year and taking that next step in his career. Centre clearances 9-2 in favour of Richmond in this game. 
And it's been the ease of which they've taken it out as well. That's a big worry for the Saints. They've got to get that sorted. Hanabry, better. This ball's got to come to ground. Late fist. Gets beyond Sinclair. Pickett gets it from Lambert. Can't get it past Geary. Couple of minutes until half time and Brett Ratton's got some resetting to do with his group. Marshall. Edwards a little fumble. Sinclair did well. Hill hasn't had enough of it. Edwards threads a handball to Nan Curvis. Dusty runs the familiar arc and again just tumbles it forward. Marshall breaks it up. Edwards taken without it. No free. Pickett has a fumble. Sinclair gets hold of him. Hooley. Graham back to Hooley. Left footer. And they again kick it to a dangerous spot. And again, the Saints have got to defend grimly. Membry. Asprey, a very good player, as we know. And the ball goes over. Membry in the back half there because Howard's off the ground with the blood rule. So Howard's off the ground. Battle's been off for 19 minutes now. So they are severely tested down back at the minute. As they have been for most of the match. But without Howard and Battle out there. So good job by Membry there. Marshall. Ross, Geary, they've done that well to Jones, who runs seven, eight metres and kicks it a long way. Marsh got to a reasonable spot. Billings, Asprey, they've been able to bounce it out of here so easily again on that occasion. That one, not a great kick from Pickett, hugging the line and another stoppage. So a lot of catch-up footy for the Saints to do here. 32 points is a big lead in a final, especially with these shortened games. Help their cause enormously if they could find a way to strike prior to half time. Holding. Help Thank you. With a free kick. Advantage. Advantage paid now. Steal. Who can get on the end of this? Marsh has got a couple of beat in the air. And Grimes is a tough defender to beat in the air. St. Kilda Rock. Third up fist. But they get a stoppage. Minute 15 left. What can they create out of this? Marsh actually missed the footy. They soccer it back to Sinclair. And off a step, he makes a pretty good fist of it. Did Floston touch the footy? I reckon they're going to have a look at it. Just like that. I believe it's behind. The long ball it was touched over the line. I'm not sure Nick Foster has touched that ball. I think the ball was touched by Vlosten over the line. And the ball is over the line. You believe it was touched by Vlosten over the line. Score of view. Umpire's call is one behind. Please make sure it was touched before crossing the line. Just the reaction of Vlosten for me. Duck, he yeah. looked very guiltily yeah. around. He didn't, didn't give us the indication that he touched it. Yep. There's nothing... Conclusive that he has. Daylight between fifth oh. and ball there. I reckon you're right, Daisy. I think that's six points. That's a replay for the arc to work their way through. Remember, it has to be definitive too because the umpire's call is behind. No deflection at all on the no. footy. I don't know if this is even possible, but roll the tape forward and just have a look at his face. <laughs> Gives it away for me. He Body. knew he didn't touch it. So this is the arc working these replays. Review complete. Looking at these angles, there is inconclusive evidence to confirm or overturn the umpire's call. Decision so, on the scoreboard. It's going to be a behind. I reckon they're really stiff, the Saints. So it's a point, and look at Nick Floston, he knows they've dodged a bullet. He's a 
appeal that it was touched almost seemed like an afterthought, wow. didn't it? And he was immediately trying to play out the, oh, Max. the ball. Well, I think they're a bit stiff there, Bruce, but we got 53 seconds left. They could do things at the last minute. We saw in the first quarter, but Baker was able to get it out. Hannah Bree. Throw it in. Have a look at Floston here, so... Yep. Guilty, Your Honour. <laughs> Good on Holding him. St Kilda. Advantage. So, so Kent takes the advantage. It's not a great kick. It was smothered going forward. King has to try and get some momentum with the ball going towards his goal, and then Ross cuts it off. Terrific first half by the defending champions, and for that man's team, they've got... So much to work out in the second half. Howard's still off the ground. Haven't seen battle now for over 20 minutes. They'll patch Howard up. Battle's another thing. He had the foot problem. Missed late in the season. Back in tonight. Good hands by Prestia. Billings. Got it out the back. Geary. Clark. Martin amongst the tacklers. Edwards has been outstanding. Back to Geary. Ross. They're up against the ropes, aren't they? In trouble. Dusty couldn't quite get the handle on it. Handle over the top. Pressed here. And this time the siren saves a goal, maybe, rather than holds off for one. But it's all one-way traffic for the moment. Scoring shots are pretty similar, but the scoreboard's lopsided. It's been terrific, Richmond. Three goals to Bolton. A couple to Lynch and Edwards. And they have a 31-point lead at the long break. So cool. From Brett, Brett Ratton. And what about Brad Hill, Duck and Daisy? I mean, 50 metres gain tonight. He averages over 300 for the season. Yeah, they need more from him. There's no doubt about that. Just got to get his hands on the footy. And, and when he does that, he's run and carry. Really important cog in this team. He and Jones is the other one that needs to just get a little bit more of the footy for the Saints. What they'll often do is put him off the back of the stoppage to get him involved and get a bit of speed on their ball. Here we go, second half. Saints have got to dial up some heat. High tackle. That helps. No advantage there. They'll get a free kick out of the middle. Brett Ratton talking about the work they need to do in the centre. Steele's had such a good season. On back on. Don't hold. Paul took Nathan. a long time to get back to him, so there'll be a lot of players in front of him. Marshall at the back. King spins around. Butler just over the head of memory. And it hits the behind post, so the ball will be thrown in. Got to pick a couple back, as Rat said. Give themselves a target at three-quarter time that's manageable. Hanabry, well done across him by Grimes. That was so oh, clever. Thank you, uh, Richmond. Asprey. That's it, Max. Hold there. Wow. So the two twelves doing battle. Asprey to Hawley. Just so much of the nice. ball in the first Fire. half. Look at those Port Adelaide coaches that are watching. If they're thinking the Tigers are in the right spot, they're thinking about Basha Hawley. Oh, yeah. Broad. Down that line. Toe poked by Martin. Was that out on the full? Wilkie thinks it was, but another boundary throw in. Martin, very good again tonight. What a record he's got in all the finals he plays. And Curvis, nice hands there from Clark. The ball just wouldn't sit for Zach Jones. Josh Battle started this quarter on the bench as well, so still that injury concern by the sounds of things. Still digging to, to find out the reasons behind that. I'm sure Abby will be hunting down an answer for Saints fans. Holding St Kilda. So the ball had busted out of the hands of Hunter Clark. And the tackle Play lingered, on. so now they can go. Got you, mate, you. 
Floston with a big fist. Billings, well done, McIntosh. Hooley, as Bruce said, just knocking up, getting the ball. That's not his best moment. Ross, Hennebury, that hasn't gone far enough. Billings, Butler. Richmond midfielders get back to defend so well. Billings picked it up. That ball was touched. And we'll have a ball in. So they've got some territory here, the Saints. Talked about the dew on the ground. Expect that to rise as the match goes on. And then Curvis to the front, just a bit too easy. And they're out. And that's disappointing. Cochin's kick coming back, Caulfield. So kicks to about 25 metres. And then Curvis doing a heck of a job. Said it a couple of times tonight. So much asked of Marshall tonight. And all their way out of it. Castagna, Asprey. That's not great. Caulfield belted as he released the footy. Martin, the don't argue on Billings. And the outside of the boot ball, really good to Prestia. Takes on the tackler. Edwards, here is Hill. Good tackle on Hooley. Brad Hill to Broad and they'd set up the wall. Exactly. Move on. Same number of games tonight as Tony Lockett. You mentioned him earlier, JB. So 281 games for Jack tonight. High ball in. Numbers all with the Saints. Marshall couldn't quite get it. And Howard, who was off the ground for a fair while in that second term. Hill got it from Geary, Howard, Ross, a lot of the ball, good kick, can they bounce here, they need to, so Kent asked to go by the umpire to steal, he backtracks, he had nothing really forward, back he goes to Jones, and Jones, good kick down that line, Marsh, lovely pick up, long ball, they're going to get the man across there, it was so long in the air that Asprey and Grimes able to read it so well. See, on that occasion there, the Saints got back in the corridor, but still, rather than go forward, brought the ball backwards, which just slowed it up, and that plays into Richmond's hands. King to the front. Hooley slicing through. McIntosh. Can Marshall keep it in? He's got running support if he can. Caulfield. Back to Marshall. He's going to have to go back to Caulfield. And his measured ball was a little heavy. Broad walks out heavy down to you. The Limbro. Here goes Josh Battle has just Renault come the back on the ground. Gilda. He's nearly been off for almost half an hour, 30 minutes, and they're keeping pretty tight lipped about what the concern was that kept him off the ground for that long. Another deliberate. They've been very hot on it tonight, Seb Ross. Jam packed forward 50. talking about good pair of hands Josh Battle and a few of the Saints left Nick Floston know Let's all go. about it, Let him go. Well, it took a, a, a really good mark obviously but once again predictable with that same position Richmond will be disappointed because they've had that covered all night Allen, right out now Come on. 10 meters this is an important kick David. obviously Start of the road back. Battle set shot. And he has missed. Can you believe that? That's hard to swallow. McIntosh. Long ball down that line towards centre wing. Marshall. 50 metres. 50 metres. It's 50 metres. Oh, All right, let it go now. They give away another one. Just here. Right yeah, out, right Shane. Clear it out. Time back on. Clear it out. So 
Tigers, Macca, so much talked about yeah. the lack of discipline last week from the yeah, Tigers. Absolutely. And Damien Hardwick addressed it during the week and put what his you hand up. So it starts with me. So can Marshall convert? So watch this. OK, right at the end there. Dylan must come behind. Yeah. A, a, annoying <laughs> and silly. Is it a worry, Duck? Is it a worry? It's annoying and silly, but not enough to warrant a, a suspension. One goal, five from set shots tonight, the Saints. Got to take your chances. happening. Patton. They bring in the heat here, the Tigers. Can the Saints match them? Broken up out of the hands of Clark. He went back and found it. Spat it forward to Steele. He had his arm held. Oh, trick. He didn't get a free, I think. Jack Steele. Jack Steele. Come on. Big. On stage, Jack. Looked Thank like you. it was going to be incorrect disposal. They can't get the speed on the game they need. St Kilda to get dangerous. Getting held up regularly by Richmond. Billings checks a ball. It's pretty good to memory. Two metres. Thank you. With me. Clown. King extends. Sinclair. Just through the hands of King, short now. Wobbles one back to a 1v2, Membry takes a very good mark. Now they're trying to generate that speed. Hill though, just coughed it up when he couldn't afford to. Shea Bolton, nothing ahead of the ball for him. Hodgie down to you. You know, the reason why they're getting caught up is St Kilda are pushing an extra forward up into the contest and Richmond just keeping one back. Ross's kick looks good. He's going to get a second look battle. And that's how you get around it. That that came out it was pretty much an accident. It was a fumble by Hill, but it made the it meant the ball switched to the fat side of the ground, and they had the open side to come in on. The, earlier on, the last couple of minutes, they've just been going up and down the skinny side of the ground, and the Richmond defenders are that good. They just wait behind the ball for him to kick long into it. Great insights from Hodgie there. So, battle, Mr. Soda. Sometimes these were easier. Looks good. Looks really good. Boy, do they need that. And this is better. And Hodgie spoke about it. But speed of ball movement. So all of a sudden, they get a little bit of time and space. And we haven't seen that too often, have we? Where some Kilda players led to a space and have a little bit of time. And, and that's a much better finish. Forward 50 entries, 9-2 to two, St Kilda's way in this term. How does Josh Battle spend the best part of half an hour off the ground in a final? Yeah, it's, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Well, when you see what he's done when he's come back on, it must have been injury. I mean, that's out of the question. We know he missed with that foot and has come back in, whether it was a check on that. Out of the centre, they've had their issues all night. The Saints, the handball just missed pressed here. Edwards so clean as he always is. Now Hooley. And down the throat of Lynch. Centre clearances have resulted in goals on multiple occasions for the Tigers tonight. And that's where I reckon Paddy Wright is missing. St Kilda are number two for centre bounce scores in the competition. Tigers are 14th and they're absolutely dominating him tonight. They've been able to answer all night, the Tigers. From long range. Lynch might have just dragged that to the left. A rare miss for the Tigers. And he's the one that's missed them. He's hit the post and that kick there. So neither of them have been bad kicks from Lynch. The two behinds have scored tonight. 
So a four-goal game. If Sakura could get it to a three-goal game, two-and-a-half-goal game, that's the target. Kick, clever kick. Loney. We're going to get up. That's a good-looking kick. I know it was a bit wobbly. Billings, can he make it work? Nakatos was just too strong. Butler off the ground. It's hit the post. Oh! Gee, that JB would have got you out of your seat. It came off battle shin. Yep. It did. But they've got the speed back on. And it's causing all sorts of problems now for this Tigers defence. King. Out behind Jack. And even Jack, if the ball's here, sort here. of messy coming in, it's working for St Kilda. Still oh, running for Loney, doesn't want to use him. Instead, he bites off the shorter one. And it's Billings. The steel run there probably created that space for Billings. Vloston saw him out of the corner of his eye and had to defend Steele's run, so he won't get a stack for it, but it's probably the reason why Billings ends up with it in his hands. Good kick for Jack. If he can slot this, will be two in a row for the first time on the night for St Kilda. And just start to ask some questions. Fans it out to the left. It actually hasn't got the journey and thumped through. He's had a couple of shots tonight from long range and hasn't quite been able to get the accuracy because I think the distance has been the worry. But it's been a good little burst. It hasn't hurt the Tigers a lot on the scoreboard. One more goal would make a difference here. Grimes from Hawley had a little slip but was OK with it. Slowish ball, but Castagna protected the ball with his body. That one sits nicely. McIntosh has been good. That kick, Geary should cut it off. Oh, Lynch was able to really be effective there. Gifted their curvers to Edwards, to Prestia. Looks good. That's the Tigers. That's the way they hurt you. Well, it's that spoil there from Lynch. Not to give away the free kick, but just to get a hand in and get the spoil. Really good finish from Prestia, but... You look at Lynch, you don't look at Lynch at the end of this game and look at how many goals he's kicked. He's crashed packs tonight, he brings the ball to the ground. Another great example there. And was able to gather his own spoil at ground level. I mean, shows his athleticism and capability even once that ball comes to ground. Okay, Ruck, goes Just up. can't get goals on end, the Saints, to put the pressure on this champion team they need to. Clark and Cochin go at it, Nan Curvis. Sinclair came through, it sort of came off his knee. Then Butler tips it inside 50. Back comes Sinclair. Wobbles it forward. Grimes did very, very well. Did JB good kick to Bolton. Little over the top to Bolter. Neat kick, maybe hands in the back, Graham. Juggled it though, paid the mark to Bolton. What a first half he had. High ball, Saints with the numbers. Caulfield, fine season to Jones. Oh, put Walker under great pressure. There you go, Duck, that's what you're talking about with Lynch. Pressure from Rioli. Back to Sinclair. Sinclair's kick good. Now can the Saints, can they keep it going hold here? There, They're held up. They're held up. That's a good kick, though. Hold Piercing. Play on. Clark. High, slow ball. No one can test. Then Curtis fumbles it a bit. Puts Vlosten under the pump. Gets to Hooley. Hooley gets to Graham. And Prestia gets it out. Hodgson, though, gets confronted. That's holding the ball. Holding the ball. You put the ball on the ground. You put the ball on the ground. Pretty clear explanation. And a fair one, too. Right, yeah. So, Patton. Player, you. Wants someone coming at him. And it's the young star. Yes. Max King must go back and convert. Well, time and time again, I mean, 
that's good use. That's a nice little chip and, and clever. Just had a little bit of space there, a nice kick to his advantage. But the kick prior to that to Nan Purvis, once again, the Saints just not being overly smart when they come inside forward 50. Fill your lungs full of air, young man, and get the job done. Four goals, 11 in a semi-final. And as well as he's played, Max, he's kicked 0-3. Back it comes, Steele, Butler, played it well to Steele. Steele plays it well, King over the top goal. Kent's got it. St Kilda doing everything they can to claw their way back into this match. And they're winning the territory battle in this quarter, putting pressure on Richmond, an uncharacteristic turnover there, and St Kilda were onto it. They made hard work of it, it's hard in your throat stuff, but Kent in the end finishing off the good work. And eight of the last ten scores in this match, the Saints, 2-6 to 1-1. One, one. They can tidy that bit up. Just taking the game on, Duck has turned this thing on its ear. Yeah, it has. And just a little bit, as I've said, just a little bit more composure going inside forward 50 as well. Steele did well. Closer. Jones off the ground, not as far as he'd like, straight to Hawley, but he just brought a bit of heat too to the Richmond ball carrier. Floston fans it wide. Rioli not clean. Taken in a tackle. Did pretty well to get it over the top to Short and Hawley. It's tougher for the Saints to get through Rioli now. High forward. Clark. Gang tackle. No prior time. So a minute 58. Some of you up. Next one. Rowan. Tom. Seb Ross. Steel. They get it through to Hunter Clark, who's just got to thump it. How to play would be a good result. You can imagine days the Saints runner will be out there saying, just keep it going forward any way you can. I think so, but they've also addressed that, that long, predictable kick that Hodgie demonstrated so well at half time. They've, they've tried to pick their way through by hand a bit. They're lowering their eyes and kicking to that 40 to 50 metre out area. Still continuing to build, isn't he? Come on, guys. They've also moved Hunter Clark, sorry, Bruce, up onto the ball. Spent a lot of the first half back, but just wanting his dare and run to generate something through the midfield there. He's had four inside 50s, Daisy. Prestia, Graham, lovely kick to Lynch. What a mark. Press here, creative. Gee, aren't we getting a, a great look at how important Lynch is to this team? Gee, he'd be hard to play on. He runs you up and back, and then when it gets kicked on your head, he can compete like that one on one day. And he, he hurts you as well. He hurts you physically. Like You mentioned Tony Lockett earlier tonight, JB. This guy hurts you physically as well. Is it holding the line? Not quite. That's the way the ball's gone at that end, but... He's had an, an enormous influence on this match. Inside the last minute of this third term. Cannot allow themselves to be scored against here, the Saints. Savage out wide. Such a good rebounding team, Richmond. Edwards. There he is again, Lynch. 30 seconds left. Knows that and goes quick. Martin so dangerous. If it gets to the back, Caulfield shovels the handball to Billings, who does the right thing and kicks it high, hoping that someone wearing the same jumper can get underneath it. Might be high contact there on Baker. I think. So if he takes the time, it'll be a kick after the siren. Has the little man got the trip? Ten seconds. Where you mark it? Move. 
Liam Baker. From outside the arc. To drive a stake through the heart of the Saints, but he had the journey, but didn't have the accuracy. So a couple of misses late for the Tigers. And dare I drag the old cliche out, the Saints are near enough if they're good enough, but it's the champs who lead it by 23 points at three-quarter time. Four goal margin. The Saints have probably got to kick a minimum of six in the final turn. They've had a lot of shots on goal. Who's on their way to Adelaide? Well, the Tigers are in the right spot. So this is probably the key to secure his hopes. Centre clearances here. They can absolutely get on top here. It might give them a look. Well, then Kervis too easy. He gets the ball forward 50. Castagna bobbling about. Savage. Caulfield. Thinking about revolting. Three-quarter time, Duck, and just the selfless way that he okay. plays the game. I mean, he doesn't get many stats. I mean, he can be almost non-existent at times, and yet you know that he's playing a decoy at times for Lynch. Well, the, the key for those two is to isolate, and for, you know, Jack's got to make sure that his opponent doesn't uh, help at Lynch. So Ross only as far as Cochin. Cochin drills it, gets beyond Savage. Lambert was dealt with. Steel. They work it out pretty well to oh, Billings. Move it on. Play on. Tries to find memory, almost does. And we'll have a ball up on the wing. Thanks, guys. Jack Steele copying it from Dougal Howard. Marsh almost missed with the handball, but it gets into the hands of Hanabry. They just tumble it forward. That's almost what they want, the Saints. Hunter Clark again did brilliantly well. What about that? Absolutely superb. And Ross will walk in, but Hunter Clark set it all up. Kept his head over the footy, did Hunter Clark, and then the use from there was brilliant. But that's what you've got to do. You've got someone coming the other way, eyes on it, and then able to use it. And that's an area that just started to clean up, and that is really good use. And good exact, vision. Exactly as Hodgie called it, he was the extra at the stoppage, so he knew he couldn't rush kick from that situation. He'd be kicking to effectively his opponent, so ran it out by hand and then got forward to affect the next contest as well. Suppressive numbers have kicked three of the last four goals the Saints. High tackle, Richmond. Gee, that's disappointing for Back, Marshall. So Nankervis has had the better of him in those two set of clearances. And again, it's Richmond that go forward from the centre. Hall is kicked. Revolt attacked it hard. Martin on the left. Probing ball. Lynch well placed. Howard at the back. I think he was claiming the mark, Howard. That's what he was going for. Now they're under pressure. Ball not quite out. Edwards and Howard and now Bolton. And those two between them have kicked five goals and been oh so dangerous. Just has to hold on here, the Saints. It's been the pattern of the night. A quick reply from Richmond. Martin trying to keep it alive. Hodgie? Yeah, Bruce, you mentioned about Brad Hill at half time. Uh, St Kilda has thrown him to a half back line. Uh, just to try and get a bit of a run and create, get him back into the game. They've got it where they want it, the Tigers. Lynch clean possession. Pressed here. Hit the wrong side of the ball. Up into the second row, but it's ending up in the hands of Hanabry. Are you nervous, JB, if you're back for Richmond now? Are you nervous or do you think you're home? Such a good side, you back experience and now, but if they kick another one, you're getting nervous. 
Prestia. Pooley. Long and deep. Edwards. Where does he go with the ball? That's superb. And Castagna gets a really good look, but he's with Cochin and Martin. And he's been overlooked and underrated for me, Shane Edwards. He is a star, not only of this club, but of the game. That's just beautiful awareness. And then great execution. Jason Castagna. Gets it. And the world number one rejoices. Well, if you look at the scoreline, 11-4 Richmond, one of the reasons why they've been so accurate is because their first thought is always team. Without hesitation, they're looking to get the ball into a, a better place. Edwards doing it there with the handoff to Castagna in the middle of the ground. It means they get shots from corridor or goal square because they're always looking to, to hand it off to a teammate in a better position. Well, no one's been better than Edwards tonight. It's a remarkable effort. He missed so much of the year, as we know. So then Kervis absolutely dominating the first three set of clearances. Martin banging it back in. So the Tigers with a, a really good lead now. Rioli back. Graham fending off. Clark's been so good. And then Kervis has really raised his game in this early part of the last quarter. Martin, beautiful kick to Edwards. Let it go to Mark, right there. He could be hard, Martin, but he's got a beautiful soft touch. Well, Short's got a long ball. Long, long. Lynch nearly. Just on Ash Barty, she gets to Adelaide. Here's the Telstra tracker for Edwards, Duck. Yeah, max speed up around that 30 kilometre mark, but look at the disposals, 19, had the ball everywhere, just so creative, kicked goals himself. We've mentioned it many times tonight, he, he is a class act. So Howard, long ball out. Big fly bolter at the back. So if the Thank Tigers win and Barty travels to Adelaide, Darren Cale is a board member of Port Adelaide, and he coaches the world number two. So we'll have some real rivalry going, not only on the footy field. Held into Edwards. Amazing. She, she decided not to go and defend her title in France. Isn't it amazing for uh, the, the world number one? There she is. I think didn't want to risk the, the health issues and also that those of her team, but she'll get there, Bruce. The lengths that she normally goes to to watch the Tigers in finals time. She's normally in China. Steph Gilmore sitting next to it too, so some good star power. Martin almost run down. Through the hands of Cotton. Have the Saints got any more left in the tank here? Martin with a forward handball. Cotton kicks it straight into Caulfield. They can go here through Sinclair. Now King, long way up the ground. This is what they've got to do, just get it into the hands of Hill and, and get it in and see if they can find a way. Membry in from the side, it bounced off his chest. Off to Marshall, who gets upended by Pickett. And Broad, it's a high ball. So the Suns can keep it in. Butler, centering, but Loney is the biggest man there. All clear. McIntosh able to kill it over the line. He's played pretty well tonight, Memory, but he just missed on there. Good effort by Pickett. So one area of Martin, well, there's a lot of... Just ball onto the boot a bit quicker. Just every now and then he just gets a little slow motion, whether it be a handball or... Wow. It's hard to knock a bloke that's played so well all season and played his heart out tonight. There's enough time, but they're not going well enough at the moment. Four goal game. How good has Vancouver's been in this turn? High ball down the line. Lynch Holding. held on to it. Richmond. Advantage. Straight back to him. Max, right out, Max. Well done, Brandon, dude. Kick more goals on this ground than any other player, Lynch. He's played it like his home ground tonight. Vlosten gets it from Hawley. Long and high and hard. Revolt to fly. Wookie built it out. 
A lot of talk pre-game about how Marshall held his own in that game when he had to go one out against Nan Curvis back in round four, but Nan Curvis was one of Richmond's best that night as well. And tonight, you think of his impact with the centre bounce clearance goals and scores have been able to get, he's had a huge influence. Billings, really no penetration at all. This is really dangerous. Edwards lurking. Revolt over the top of it. Lynch, handball back. Martin on the left. Was there a touch on it? If there wasn't, that's probably sealed the game. Well, when you think of this game, you'll think of all the half chances. Bolton and Edwards kick some really good goals. Then this one from Martin on the left foot from the stoppage. Another one of those difficult shots, but making the most of it. Whereas for the Saints, Mr. Lock from that 30, 40 out kickable goals, and that's the difference. So the Saints kicked the first, but it's been a strong response from the Tigers. They're good numbers. He's he's played really well. He'd be in the top three or four players for the Tigers tonight. Maybe shaded by Edwards, Bolton early. Lynch has been as good as all of them in the end. Prestia found some space. Good kick to Rioli. East West, East West. Play on. So Rioli sizes it up. Centering ball. Lynch, the oh, whole rebound went really high over the top. Wilkie's been good. Coughed it up a little short. Got it back to Bolton. Bolton on the left. Lynch well placed, and Geary gets him around the neck, and he gets a free kick. Around the neck, around the neck. <laughs> Must come around, just got him around. Yeah. Well, the, Time back on. The two, thing, the two things the umpires have played tonight are high tackles and deliberately out of bounds. They have been hot on both of them. Jack, a metre behind. Dougal. Set a lot of shots on goal tonight. He's Play on. Coming back. Coming back. Missing. 2 4 for him. Savage will bring the footy back in. And even 30 points. Long ball down the middle. King got hands to it. Unable to hang on. Steele, Butler, Membry, can they get out the back? Hanabry. Ball really didn't suit Butler. Grimes able to take in the end pretty much an uncontested mark. Take it, take it, take it. Steers it down the wing. You've got to go back to match committee duck for me. If you'd said to Brett Ratton. Going into a final, who can you at least afford to have come out of your side? I reckon Long Rider and yeah. Carlisle would have been right on the tip of his tongue. They go forward again. Battle, who spent so long off the ground. And Broad went to ground. They keep it in. Floston absorbs a tackle. And then over. I think that's the difference between the two teams tonight is going inside Ford 50 and obviously shots on goal. Richmond have just been that little bit more composed with their hit up kicks, but also in front of goals have been able to convert. And that scoreboard says it all, Hodgie. 12 6 6 12. Baker, Sinclair had the goal disallowed in that first half. Hannah Bree, Battle. Well done by Grimes. Good stuff by Hooley. Knew the moment. Memories contest okay. Martin so hard to get down. Asked a lot of picket. Still pattern slow. Really quick. They defend the ground so well, the Tigers. There was clearly nothing for him to go to. Castagna. High ball in. Revolt being quiet. Just missed with the handball. Hill haven't had enough of the ball in his hands. King elevates, couldn't hang on. Baker, Ross. Ross won the ground ball. Back to Savage. One of the ins for the Saints. 
Look at Max King trying to work his way through about four. His memory a bit banged up. Might be the ankle here, just... King gave away the free kick, but how impressive was he then, the way he burst through a, a glimpse of the future. Tigers again attacked, Bolt had gone forward. Now he's a powerful kick. He'll probably hold it up and put it to about 20 metres. A bit further than that, Lynch and Revolt. And over the back. Abby. He's still. Long ball. Sliding mark. Not quite Marsh. Hill. Just the trip to Kent and then Marsh. Loney's had a quiet night. You guys, memory was helped from the ground with those trainers. You did see his left angle just buckle under him as he went to ground. And it's not the way that you want to end your season, isn't it? So bad news for memory. Butler. Jones. The Richmond numbers everywhere around the footy. Martin's ball is really good to coach him. Hooley, quick release. Pressed here. Great awareness. Baker through the middle, just a running barrel. Really tough ball to handle. Savage gets taken in the revolt tackle. Hacks it sideways. And Baker takes it over. Abuse and Hodge's thoughts after the game. Here's Baker. Great match that he's had. Just Hawthorne got beaten in the first week of the finals. In that great run they had, and they were able to come back a win. The Tigers beat them the first week of the finals. They're going to get a, a look at a prelim. Prestia. I mean, history shows you that you win that first week more Nick, times than not. You get to a grand final, but the Hawks were able to do it. Lost in Perth. They picked Kelly. themselves up. Tigers in a very similar position. Proud team. The benchmark of the last three years. Cochin, Edwards, so clever and thoughtful. Hooley, likewise. Savage, Sinclair, running, Yay. carrying. Good kick, good kick. Gives Marsh a real chance. Grimes, helped a bit by the bounce, but he played it so well. In 2015, that Hawthorne team, Hodgie, eh? It's a big job to come back. I don't think uh, Richmond have any fear. Uh, they have belief. You can sort of see the way they, they started the game tonight. Their intensity, they know that they can pressure play any on, team play on, play on. And, and, and beat any team on their day. Sets up an amazing prelim in Adelaide. Port Adelaide been the best team all year, and they take on the best team in the last four or five years, so that's going to be a beauty. Along or Collingwood in the other one, so some big teams are going to gather second no, last week of the year. Mark is way back in. No, Mark is back in. You've run forward of the mark. Okay. Time back on. Play on. Is that Jones releasing to Savage? Wilkie. Play on touch. Clark. Couldn't really get any purchase on the ball. Hill will take the mark. Well, he should have made a bit of a mess of it. And it opens up Cochin, although he makes a bit of a mess of it. Somehow to Lambert. And now Lynch. He fans it a long way right. Wilkie. Done a good job on Jack. Still short. One of the
the things that makes them so hard to beat is that adaptability, though, Bruce. You put all this time into Revolt, Lynch wayward with his two goals, five, and they still find a way to kick 12 goals, eight of them coming from midfielders. Yep. Clever by Lambert, and there's one of those blokes you're talking about. And there's another one in Rioli, and here's another one in Martin. Hill held up. Well done still to Clark, two of the better players for the Saints. Jones tapped it forward. Grimes taken down. Cochin forever combative. Edwards. McIntosh. Good kick. And Dusty just put some punctuation mark on. Now he gets it rolling again with a high ball. Lynch. Lock. Tom Lynch. He's left a big hole, Carlo. Time back has, on. Uh, I mean, Clear out, Jack. How it's been, uh, he's been brave, just been, just not big enough for Lynch. And you saw there, that was just a, a panic free kick, just worrying about where Lynch was rather than a, attacking the footy. Duck, does it matter if he kicks this or not? You, you, you feel like he probably needs to nail one. Yeah. It's the only thing he hasn't done well tonight, he's done everything else. Been outstanding. So, that, I get, do you, does that go with you on the on the plane to Adelaide, or just forget all about that? Well, you, you certainly try to forget all about that, but he can be prone to to doing this from time to time. Thumped away. Billings, steal. So lots for the Saints to build on. They haven't had the night they wanted tonight, but they've won a final. Played in their first final series in nine years. They've got potential superstar in Max King forward of the ball. They've got the likes of... Well, Steele's had a wonderful year. Hunter Clark is, dare I say it, the emerging Lenny Hayes of this group. So they've, they've had a really good year. It'll be a tough dressing room. Days and duck, but... They've got a lot to be pretty happy with, I reckon. Yeah, and they'll be disappointed about tonight because <laughs> they've really blown it by poor kicking. So they the should be a lot closer Hold. game. Hold there. Play on, play on. Back. Able to just flick it around here, the Tigers. Brett Ratton is their senior coach who said right at the top was a very good senior coach when he was at Carlton and he's made a very good fist of that same job at St Kilda so he's you think going to be there for the next three or four five years and got themselves settled off field they're in pretty good shape but they've played tonight Bruce against an unbelievable club set it up in that first quarter that unbelievable club with five goals so clean early in the match when it counted accuracy such a part of finals haven't we seen that in the couple of weeks? We saw it in Adelaide last week. So it's been a terrific comeback by Richmond. They've got their team that they'll take to Adelaide with them. So the Tigers are on their way to Adelaide and to a fourth consecutive preliminary final. The champions are still alive. Everywhere they go, Richmond, they've got a very passionate following. As Bruce said, they've got an incredible ability to get the job done, the sharp end of the season. Down to you, Hodgie. Thanks, uh, thanks, JB. Shane, mate, uh, well played into another prelim. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, 
it was a tough game, tough conditions, and yeah, we just uh, just need to recover from this one and move on the next week. After last week, how did you review the game? What were the main points that you brought out of it? Uh, we just need to be better around the contest. Our discipline was obviously not good enough last week, something we focused on. And just everything in general, just making sure we're concentrating the whole game. It looks like your intensity around the ball was on and had the ball played in your Ford 50. Absolutely. We wanted to play Richmond game, and I thought we did that from the start, and it's something we're going to have to do next week. And yourself, mate, you had a long time out. How's the tank? How are you feeling? Yeah, it's good. Selfishly, might have needed another week to get the tank going, but, um, yeah, it's tough conditions, and happy to run out the game. And the uh, Tigers supporters rocked up again tonight? Yeah, they did. They're everywhere, and we love them, and they uh, played a big part in it tonight. Thanks for your time, mate. Well done. Thanks, Hodgie. Tonight, right, JB, I reckon he's going to ask Hodgie for his autograph. Yep. He's so modest, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Legitimate star. Spoke earlier in the half about what a privilege it was to train with Gary Ablett. And yet he is a star in his own right. Happy to you. Bash, congratulations on the win. The Saints challenged you at times, but your boys stood tall and come away with another win, and now you're in a prelim against Port Adelaide next Friday. Yeah, very fortunate we are. And just, like you said, the Saints have been outstanding all season, and uh, no doubt they're going to be bigger and strong in this, uh, next year. So the way they fought it out uh, gave us a great challenge. Um, and, yeah, it's very proud of the boys, what they did in the end. So. And talk to us about your mindset after last week, because from ground level here tonight, it's like every single player on this ground just knew their role, they played their role beautifully, and obviously you take another win through. Yeah, well, it's, that's, that's the, the belief and, uh, and probably the journey that we've been on, you know, for multiple years that, you know, when we, uh, when we, when we uh, you know, obviously get beaten, we know how to bounce back. But uh, in saying that, you know, St Kilda we are standing today, um, and we just had to be proactive the way we, we played our football. Used the better better than last week as well. And uh, obviously the defensive intent was there, which helped a lot. And big Tommy Lynch back in the side tonight. He certainly does make a difference, doesn't he? He just provides so much balance and, and support for, for Rewalt out there as well. I thought he was fantastic for you guys Yeah, he tonight. was. And that's the thing. Like he'll, he'll take a few. But more importantly, he'll bring it down to the, uh, to the likes of uh, yeah. you know, Castagna, Rioli. And that's, uh, that's, I guess, played to our strengths. So uh, it's great to have uh, you know, a couple of tall timbers there that can you know, either take the mark or bring it down and uh, you know, obviously let our, our little, little guys do their work. Congratulations, Bash. You had a brilliant game as well yourself, so go and enjoy this with the fans. I just want to say uh, I love you, Mum. Salaam alaikum. And salaam alaikum to all the community back home. Stay patient.